Are you looking for ways to help your child spell their name? If you are, I have six tips for you today. My name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics. I help busy moms understand their child's frustration with dyslexia so they can support, encourage, and empower them. Let's get into it. It's no surprise that your child has a hard time learning how to spell their name. To be honest, I had a very hard time. And then I had to do the middle name and last name. Oh, we spent forever on this and I just could not learn how to spell my name. So I have taken six things that I've learned and I want to share those with you. Tip number one is to play hide and seek. That's right. Put their name on paper and get painter's tape and put their name all over the house and have them find their name. One of the first steps to doing this is having them recognize their name. Once they understand that, the second step would be adding different names throughout the house and having them only pull their name, not all the names they see, just their name. Tip number two is to match the letters. That's right. So you can easily have letters. You can buy these letters, like a big tub of these at the craft store. So a tub of foam letters and just grab and make their name. And then you put the same letters down and they match them. So they put the same letters right underneath. And while you're doing this, I would have them touch it and explore the letters and then name the letters as they go. So they can see that the letters go in a specific order. Tip number three is to have a puzzle with their name put in it. And so here is my daughter. She gets her first name and her middle name together. And I wouldn't recommend a cursive font, just a plain basic font and you go in and this way they can touch the letters, fill them, and then practice putting them in order. And also naming the letters as they go. This is great to work on putting them in order. Tip number four is to buy magnetic letters, put them on the fridge, and just use the letters to spell their name in the beginning and work letter by letter on spelling their name. They get to move it, they get to touch the letters and have fun. Slowly, you can add other letters to build up their confidence and let them know that there are other letters that aren't involved in their name. Tip number five is build it with either Legos or Play-Doh. That's all right build their names. So give them Play-Doh and have them make the letters so they can start to build them out. So the C for Caroline, A, and move on. Yes, this might be a little bit harder of a task. Legos might be a little bit easier, but once they're like manipulating and moving their hands, the information just seems to stick more than just having them read their name, say it, and things like that. Any type of game when it comes to finding that works. Tip number six is to make it a game. So take the letters, you could even take the foam letters, put them on note cards, and they match the letters. So they're looking for C first and turn it over. Then they're looking for A and they spell their name and it's all turned over and they work on finding those letters. With dyslexia, the more multi-sensory you can make it and the more fun you can, the easier it is for them to remember. So learning their name should be a fun game, interactive, and so use to things that you have around the house. You don't have to go spend a lot of money on this and make it a project. If they like cars and they have a ton of cars, have them spell their name driving the cars and parking them in a parking lot to spell their name. You can do so many things. It is endless, but the more play-based you make it, the easier it is. Another quick bonus one is to create a sensory bin with all the letters and then dig and find the letters and then put them in order. So in the beginning, they would match it to the mat. Then after a while, they would just have a blank mat. And once they find the letters, they would put them in order. I hope that helped. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. But before you go, I wanted to let you know that my newest freebie was released this week and I'm so excited for it. It is called Decoding Dyslexia Roadmap and I've updated my YouTube channel to have it. This is a three-part series for parents that they need to help understand dyslexia themselves, understand the challenges, and understand the strengths to empower their child. And this is the exact framework that I used to go from hating my dyslexia to embracing it and talking about it. So go ahead and grab that resource and dive in. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.